So thank you for being part of this. Appreciate it, Chris. Um, tell us a bit more about the DC Anime Club. Uh, DC Anime Club is a not-for-profit organization based in Washington, DC. Our purpose is to educate people about East Asian culture through Japanese animation and Japanese comics, and we've been around since um, 2005. Um, so yeah, it's been like about, I want to say about 12 years or so, and we've had like a lot of memorable events. Uh, we do an annual cosplay parade as part of the Fiesta Asia, and we're always looking for more cosplays to participate in that. We are the sponsors for International Cosplay Day. We actually help promote that uh, via a press release for each uh, city and state that has like a International Cosplay Day event. And we also help to promote at least a minimum of 15 conventions via our marketing department, including Otakon, Catchacon, Timo, Anime USA, Awesome Con, um, and the list goes on. That is very cool. So uh, what are you normally doing at a convention? Normally we are promoting um, DC Anime Club. We actually have a table at um, um, local conventions mm -hmm. and whatnot. We actually um, give like offers of what um, we have to offer for membership, such as getting into conventions for free. Um, you also get to see the latest blockbuster superhero movies, um, such as um, Captain America Sil Civil War. Uh, that's coming out next year. You get to see that if you are a member of DC Anime Club and along with Doctor Strange as well. That is very, very cool. Um, so you say the, the um, club's been around for about 15 years now? Um, actually, like about um, 12, 12, okay. 12 years. Yeah. Wow. What was it like when it started? Basically, it was really small. It was just <laughs> me and my uh, former vice president. Uh, we just helped uh, found it, made a um, website, and it started to grow and grow and grow. And then we moved from library to library until we settled on um, MLK. But due to the construction of MLK Library, we're actually moving to um, Tenley, um, Tenley Town um, Library. So we'll be there next year, starting in January. Cool. About how many members do you have now? Um, so far, we haven't really counted um, yet. Um, we're still, we just gained like a whole new batch. So <laughs> I'm thinking like about maybe somewhere around 40 so, thus far. That is really, really cool. Wow. Um, what's the growth been like? Has there been like ups and downs or has it been pretty steady? Um, it's been, it goes from ups and downs um, over the years since uh, we've moved from place to place. Sure. But we have actually um, are actually still growing um, due to like meetup.com. Um, so that's really been a help for us uh, and whatnot. And also, of course, promoting ourselves at conventions, doing a lot of cross-promoting with um, conventions and whatnot. That is very cool. So how did you get into anime? Um, I've been into anime since I was seven. The first um, anime I ever watched was back in um, when there was an Arrow's video store. <laughs> yep. I watched um, Captain Harlock, mm -hmm. and then I started watching Devil Hunter Yoko and collecting Rama Half or Rama One Half. And from there, I just, just kept on collecting. That is very, very cool. So um, uh, how have you seen, and I know this is a difficult question, how have you seen um, anime fandom change over the years? Um, especially you know, as, as clubs have proliferated and cons have proliferated. Have, have you seen any major differences? Um, some of the major differences is, of course, um, more accessibility to um, anime. It's not like you had to go to the kitty section or a game. I mean, now all you have to do is um, have a subscription to uh, Crunchyroll or any of these other streaming websites or these free stream websites, which I don't really recommend. I recommend just actually paying and actually supporting the arts and whatnot. But um, you do what you do. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, it's just changed because of the internet mainly. Yeah. So now what um, both cons and um, anime clubs have to offer is basically face to face. So you know to be able to meet up with other people who are into anime just like you are. It's like kind of hard to find those people who are like into the same thing that you are. So that's the um, the gem of being part of an anime club or going to an anime convention. That's great. Um, what kind of anime do you show here? Uh, basically, it's whatever the members bring in, as long as we get screen permission. Mm -hmm. uh, we just recently uh, watched the fairy tale movie, nice. and members seem to enjoy that. Sometimes we'll even like show stuff that's like not anime, such as the directed DC, DC um, comics on animated movies. Mm -hmm. We yeah. hope to um, show the upcoming Justice League versus um, Titans movie coming out next year. So all you Teen Titans fans who'll be posting these memes about how you don't like Teen Titans Go, you may want to watch this movie. <laughs> Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, I think that does it. Anything else you want to talk about in terms of the, the club? Um, basically, we're, we're here to stay, and I'll be wa well, um, actually running DC Anime Club to the day I die. <laughs> so 
please um, come and join us. We have a lot of benefits. We're actually pushing to make um, more creative events. And there's more creative events that um, you would like us to um, see us do, let us know, as long as you yourself are there. Absolutely. That's cool. Well, thank you very much for doing this. Uh, thank you. Yeah, take care. You too.